Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain my final year project which is image captioning using CNN LHTM deep neural networks. So like this is a very interesting topic to see. So let us understand what is image captioning is. So let us look into this picture. So what reminds you after looking this picture? A boy is playing a basketball or a boy is doing some tricks in the basketball court. So these are the captions or these are the descriptions you can frame in your mind when you look at this picture, right? So let us suppose assume that if the same thing can be done by the machines, like if the machine predicts that what is happening in the what is happening in the image, then how it would be. So this is what our intention of our project is. So the main intuition is to describe what is happening in the images that is what we frame it as captioning see uh, by looking at that picture our machine our model can predict that what is happening in the picture so it is what our project is and let us understand our project deeper uh, by going the technology side and this is the architecture of my project so see how it works is like if there is an image uh, also what happens so in the name in the lemon point of view I can say that if you give an image to the system so the system automatically predicts what is happening in the image or it generates the caption to that image it is what my project is so let us understand this in a technical manner so in our project we have used two different neural networks uh, which are CNN and LSTM so CNN is nothing but convolution neural network and it is similar to feed for a neural network which receives the input from the user and it has some hidden layers and it produces the output and convolutional neural network is mainly used in the process uh, like uh, when dealing with image processing or object detection face detection these kind of things can be done um, accurately by using convolution neural networks and we are using a pre-trained model of convolution neural networks to detect the objects in the images and later by using nltk natural language toolkit uh, like uh, which is a part of natural language processing we are going to detect the objects in the image like um, they consider this image so in the first phase of uh, capturing the images we need to detect what are the objects present in the image so uh, by looking at the picture we can clearly, clearly said that there is a boy there is a ball and there is a coat and there are some houses there so these are the objects present in the image so by using this phase we can detect the objects and later we are using LSTM so in order to try in our model to uh, to detect to detect captions for the images we need to provide some training to the uh, training to the LSTM so that training can be given by using Flickr dataset so we have using a uh, Flickr dataset which is very which is open source so that um, our model can be made train using that Flickr dataset so after training so our machine our machine can have some knowledge so based on that knowledge um, that our, our model of LSTM can caption the images automatically so in the finally we have deployed our machine learning uh, deep learning model using a flask interface which is a web development framework of Python so it is the overview of the project so the heart of a project is LSTM so LSTM stands for long short term memory so uh, like to explain about LSTM in a short manner like I will tell in an intuitive manner see consider our human brain so uh, let us assume that human brain has some memory and some logic so in order to take some decision so we go with experience right so if you want to predict something we can go with we can go that by using our past experience and the data which we have in our mind that is what memory is in the same manner neural networks works in a similar way so in order to in order to, like but there are problems in feed for a neural networks that um, in order to store the output of the particular particular layer it is difficult so for that reason long short term memory has been introduced so it stores the output of its layer as an input so that it can store the memory for a longer period of time which can be able to identify uh, a particular particular use cases of the fall of the particular scenario like consider LSTM is used for captioning so it trains from the data and it gives you the captions so if the new image is given to the LSTM model it recalls the memory which has been already stored in their layers and based on that memory and based on that logic it reasons the it reasons the particular image and it gives the caption so it is a long process to identify so like uh, by going to deeper slides you will be able to understand how actually it works see uh, our the module division of our project is in the follow 
in the following ways so in the first phase we are creating a pre-trained model to detect the objects so which we can call it as transfer learning transfer learning is nothing but using the already existing knowledge to predict things in the future like consider um, if you know programming like if you know the basics of a programming then you can easily know data structures and algorithms right so in a similar manner if you know something which is already trying then you can make use of that to detect the future applications to you to make that useful in future applications so we have used transfer learning to object detection because there are many algorithms there are many proven best algorithms which detects the objects in a very good manner so we make use of transfer learning to detect the objects in the image first so because our intention is to generate the captions right so not detecting the objects so we have used this transfer learning to detect the objects whenever objects have been detected the next step is to generate some sentences uh, so called captions so in the lstm there are many multiple layers in the lstm so each layer of lstm uh, generate one caption so based on the average we can take we can give rankings to the captions and the the maximum number of lscs which produces the unique caption can be uh, ranked uh, ranked prioritly so that we uh, we uh, we take that caption as a final caption and we display that by using a web server flask see uh, this is the first phase i have already mentioned you object detection so in this phase the objects in the images were detected so let us see this picture so there are many objects in this image the all is all those objects were detected in this phase so like um, a crowd cat a camera so these are all the objects which can be visible from the image so the second step is sentence generation so by looking at that image uh, you may think that a purple camera with a woman is one caption and a woman holding a camera in the crowd is another caption so the each lstm thinks like a human being like consider in a class there are 30 members if i ask all the 30 members to caption one image maybe 30 of 30 members can caption the image in 30 different ways right but if one or two give the like if two or three give the same caption and rest of all gives a unique caption that same captions which have the majority of voting can be treated as a final caption so in that image we can predict many captions but the final image can be uh, treated based on the ranking so finally the caption which have been generated based on the ranking from this image is a human holding a camera in a crowd so it is how our project works see activity recognition how lstms works internally see this is a picture of a cat uh, of a, it's a picture of a cat or dog running so it is a scenario right so cna detects objects and it transfers to lstm so in lstm there are many layers see consider there are four lstm layers here so first lstm layer is um, capturing that as running and the second lstm is capturing as sitting and the next as jumping and the next as jumping so the maximum average answer is jumping here because two of them have been um, voting for that right so jumping is considered as a priority one and it ranks in a top top way so that uh, jumping can be considered here and so in a similar fashion once um, that activity is considered again we are we are going that and we are forwarding that to another lstm layers so in the final lstm layers uh, after uh, some pre-processing have been made so finally a caption has been generated here so it is the overview of our project so now i am going to show the execution of the project how it works is simple right so like i have used visual code visual studio code for implementing our project so these are our code files so uh, we need to write two different we need to run two different um, different files to uh, deploy that into a web server so i will show that so before that see um, in this test folder like uh, once once the data set has been trained with the images or uh, trained with our model so all those captions for the, all the 8092 images were, were been generated as a text file here so these are the captions for 8092 images which have been trained uh, by our model so these are for training purpose and what our intention is uh, not to generate captions for the training images we need to we need to generate captions for our own images like if you give a new image to our model to caption what is happening in the image our model can do it so it is what our intention is see uh, let us see let us go into the interface so this is the interface of our project so we can now test with different images uh, like uh, 
see like I can give this image here so what you are observing like what you get from this image is a group of people posing for the camera like standing in front of a crowd it is what my assumption to this image is so let us see how our model gives a caption for this yeah it is saying I think it's a group of people standing in front of a crowd posing for the camera that's absolutely correct right so uh, let us uh, go with some other images like uh, it is a cycling person uh, doing some uh, skit on the road right so let us see how the caption our model captions this image yeah it is saying i think it's a man riding a bike down a dark road yes of course it is um, somewhat uh, like appreciable because it is what the image is doing right so let us go with some other images so this image showing that a bike racer doing uh, some riding on the road see let us see how our model predicts the caption for this image I think it's a man riding a motorcycle on the track absolutely correct so let us go with one last yeah this image uh, which we have uh, discussed about in the starting see let us see how this image can be captioned by our model I think it's a man doing a trick on a basketball court yes it is absolutely correct right so uh, this is my project in the final year um, so this can be made uh, majorly using uh, LSTM so LSTM is the heart of this project and I have used CNN and transfer learning to detect the objects from the images in the initial phases and later I have used flask to deploy my project in the web application form so finally and um, for this reason I also um, published a library in Python so uh, which is a flask caption so uh, interested people or interested contributor can make use of that flask caption library and you can contribute more for this project thank you thank you for watching